Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to graph a hyperbola. Okay, so ang given natin dito, we have 9x square minus 4y square plus 18x plus 16y equals 43. So as you can see, na yung ating equation is not in standard form. Okay, so hindi ka agad natin pwedeng uh, ma-identify yung ating a, b, and c. So, and yung center. So, hindi tayo makakapag-sketch ng hyperbola. Tama? So, ang first step natin dito guys is we need to identify yung opening ng ating hyperbola. So, as you can see na yung merong negative is yung y square. So, that means na yung ating hyperbola opens horizontally. Okay, so kung horizontal ang ating hyperbola, it follows the standard form x minus h square over a square minus y minus k square over b square equals 1. Okay? So, para marerite natin itong uh, equation natin to standard form, una, kailangan pagsamahin natin yung may mga x and y. Okay, so ire-regroup natin. So that is 9x square plus 18x minus 4y square plus 16y equals 43. Okay? So next is, kung mapansin nyo na yung ating x and y dito sa ating standard form is wala namang coefficient. So that means na kailangan natin i-factor out yung ating mga coefficients ng x square and y square. Ito. Okay, so pag finactor out natin si 9 doon sa x, so ang may iiwan doon sa loob, we have x square, then 18 divided by 9, that is 2x. Then for y square naman, factor out natin si negative 4. So ang may iiwan sa loob, we have y square, then 16 divided by negative 4, that is negative 4y. Okay, then equals 43. So, ang next step naman natin guys is kailangan yung binomials natin dito maging square of binomial. Okay? So, para marerite natin to to square of binomial, kailangan yung binomial natin maging perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, para, makapag, uh, para magawa natin perfect square trinomial, yung ating binomial is gagamit tayo ng completing the square. So, ang formula natin is b over 2 square. Kung saan ang b natin is yung coefficient ng ating x and y term. Okay, so unahin natin yung sa x. So, sa x natin, ang b natin dyan is yung 2. So, 2 divided by 2, we have 1. Then, square, that is positive 1. Tama? So, i-add natin yan dito sa ating binomial. x square plus 2x, then plus 1, minus 4. Next is yung sa ating y naman. So, ang b natin dyan, we have negative 4 divided by 2. That is negative 2, then square, we have positive 4. So, add natin si 4 dito. We have y square minus 4y, then plus 4, equals 43. So, guys, kung nag-add tayo ng 1 and 4 doon sa left side ng ating equation, dapat sa right side, ganun din. Okay? So, yun nga lang, na yung 1 natin dito is under ng 9. So, pag naglagay tayo din sa ating right side, magiging 9 times 1. Okay? Then, yung 4 dito is under nung ating negative 4. Nakamultiply siya kay negative 4. So, pag nilagay natin yan sa right side, that is negative 4 times 4. Tama? So, simplify na natin to guys. So, we have 9. Then, since ito ay perfect square trinomial na, pwede nang i-rewrite yan to square of binomial. So, that is equivalent to square root of x square, that is x. Then, square root of 1, we have 1. Then, copy niyo yung sign ng gitna. That is plus, then square. Okay? Then, we have minus 4 times square root ng y square. That is y. 
square root ng 4, we have 2. Then, copy niyo yung sign nung nasa middle term, which is minus. Okay, then square. So, next we have uh, 43 plus 9. That is uh, 52 minus 16, we have 36. Okay? So, dito guys, sa standard form ng ating uh, hyperbola, ang right side dapat equals to 1. So, para marirate natin to 2, 1, kailangan i-divide natin both sides of the equation by 36. Dama, para makancel yan guys. So, meron na tayo ngayong standard form. Simplify na lang natin. So, makakancel yung 9 and 36 dito, magiging 1 sa taas. Then, sa may baba, we have 4. Then, dito naman sa may y natin, makakancel yung 4. We have 1, then 9. Okay, so simplify natin to guys. We have x plus 1 square over 4 minus y minus 2 square over 9. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating um, standard form. Okay? So, since nakuha na natin yung standard form ng ating hyperbola, so pwede na natin ngayon ma-identify yung ating um, center at saka yung ABC. So, in our case, ang A square natin dito is equals to 4. Tama? So, ang A natin is 2. Next, we have uh, b square which is equals to 9. So, ang b natin is equals to 3. Okay, so ini-square it lang natin both sides ng ating equation. So, ngayon, ma-identify na natin yung center. So, alam naman natin na ang center is equals to hk. So, in our case, ang h natin is yung kasama ng x which is uh, positive 1. So, i-reverse nyo lang yung sign yan, that is negative 1. Then, ang k naman natin is yung kasama ni y. Dito, we have negative 2. So, reverse the sign, that is positive 2. Okay? So, ngayon, after nyo makuha yung ating center, pwede na natin i-sketch yung ating hyperbola. Okay? So, una, plot nyo muna si negative 1, 2. So, makikita yan dito sa ating quadrant 2. Okay? Then, using the A, which is 2, makukuha natin yung location ng ating uh, vertex o ng ating vertices. Since ang, para, ang hyperbola natin opens horizontally, so meaning yung ating um, transverse axis is horizontal din. Okay, so makikita natin yung ating endpoints ng transverse axis and vertices natin using yung A equals 2. So magka-count lang kayo ng dalawa guys. Going to the right, 1, 2. So yan yung ating uh, first vertex. Then we have neg uh, 2 units to the left naman, 1, 2. So dito natin makikita yung ating second vertex. Then, ito na ngayon yung ating uh, horizontal tran transverse axis. Okay, next is yung B naman. We have 3. So, ito yung ating pang-conjugate axis. So, bilang lang kayo ng 3 upward. So, 1, 2, 3. So, ito yung unang endpoint ng ating conjugate axis. Then, 3 pa baba. 1, 2, 3. So, nandito yung last endpoint. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating uh, vertical conjugate axis. So after natin ma-plot yung dalawang axis guys, is pwede na natin uh, i-sketch yung ating um, imaginary rectangle. So again, saan ba ginagamit yung ating rectangle? Guys, pag nagbuo kayo ng rectangle, make sure na dadaan yan doon sa mga endpoints ng ating axis. Okay, so using this uh, rectangle, pag kinonect nyo guys yung opposite uh, corners ng ating rectangle, ito, yung, ito ngayon yung ating asymptotes. Okay, so may dalawang asymptote ang ating hyperbola. 
So, yun yung una. Then, ito yung pangalawa. <coughs> okay. So, using the vertices and the asymptotes, pwede na natin i-sketch ngayon yung ating hyperbola. So, bubuka lang tayo guys dyan. Okay. Then, we have this one. Ayan. So, ito na ngayon yung sketch ng ating hyperbola. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!